Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the reading nook. Come on in. Let's get started. Ready? Five green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. Chloe jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were four green speckled frogs. Gloop, gloop. Four green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. Diego jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were three green speckled frogs. Gloop, gloop. Three green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. Autumn jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were two green speckled frogs. Gloop, gloop. Two green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. Oliver jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there was one green speckled frog. Gloop, gloop. One green and speckled frog sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. We all jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were no more green speckled frogs. Good morning, everybody. All right, come on, hop on in. Let's sit down and get ready. We have our stuffies with us today. I hope you guys brought them. Show me your stuffies. Hold them up. Wonderful. All right. Now, you guys ready? Let's sing our next song. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're silly and you know it, make a face. If you're silly and you know it, make a face. If you're silly and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're silly and you know it, make a face. If you're swimming and you know it, blow some bubbles. If you're swimming and you know it, blow some bubbles. If you're swimming and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're swimming and you know it, blow some bubbles. If you're beautiful and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're beautiful and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're beautiful and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're beautiful and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Very nice singing. Thank you so very much, guys. All right. Should we get right to our first story? I think we should. This book is called, I Like Myself. And I do. I do like myself. Oh, hello, Sophie. Can you come and go listen to the story with, with us? I like myself. I'm glad I'm me. There's no one else I'd rather be. I like my eyes, my ears, my nose. I like my fingers and my toes. I like me wild. I like me tame. I like me different and the same. I like me fast. I like me slow. I like me everywhere I go. I like me on the inside too, for all I think and say and do. Oh my goodness. Inside, outside, upside down, from head to toe, and all around. I like it all, I, it all is me, and me is all I want to be. And I don't care in any way what someone else may think or say. I may be called a silly nut or crazy cuckoo bird. So what? I'm having too much fun, you see, for anything to bother me. Hi, Kendall. Even when I look a mess, I still don't like me any less. 
because nothing in this world you know can change what's deep inside. And so, no matter if they stop and stare, no person ever anywhere can make me feel that what they see is all there really is to me. I'd still like me with fleas or warts or with a silly snout that snorts. <sighs> or knobby knees or hippo hips or purple polka dotted lips. <laughs> or beaver breath or stinky toes or horns protruding from my nose. Or yikes with spikes all down my spine or hair that's like a porcupine. I still would be the same, you see. I like myself because I am me. The end. Did you like that one, Kendall? Yeah. Oh, that's okay. It's a silly one, isn't it? I like that. All right, you guys ready for some more songs? What song should we sing? We were talking about some songs before. What other song should we sing today? Mm. Mr. Sun? Yeah. All right, you ready? We're going to sing Mr. Sun. You guys going to sing at home too? But here we go. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind the trees. These little children are asking me to please come out so we can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, Please shine down on me. Excellent work. All right. Did you guys hear the wild wind last night? It was crazy. I was listening to it all night. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And it made me think of a song, but it's kind of a Halloween song. Do you want to sing a Halloween song about some wind? Yeah. Yeah, okay. You guys ready? Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. Oh my, oh boy, it's getting late. The second one said, there are witches in the air. The third one said, but we don't care. The fourth one said, let's run and run and run. The fifth one said, are you ready for some fun? Who went the wind and out went the light. And the five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. That's a silly song, right? Because it's not Halloween today, but it was very windy and it made me think of that song. All right. So as you guys remember yesterday, a it's a silly song, right? I like silly songs. How about you? <laughs> yeah, you like silly songs? Do you guys like silly songs too? I want you guys to help me out. All right. I want you to comment down below your favorite silly song. And if it's a song I, I know, I'm going to sing it tomorrow. And if it's a song I don't know, I'm going to learn it. All right, because I want to learn some it's new songs for you guys. Song. A giraffe song. We'll have to look for a giraffe song, I guess. So as I was saying, it is Happiness Week. And yesterday we read our first story from the Seven Habits of Happy Kids. And I want you guys to be happy kids, and I'm a happy kid. So let's see. We'll get to story two. Yesterday we read Bored, Bored, Bored. So here we go. Ah. So today we're going to read... Goob and the Bug Collecting Kit. All right. Goob was walking by Toodle's Toy Store when he saw a bug collecting kit in the window. It was on sale for $4. Wow, said Goob. I've wanted a kit like that for a long time. But I don't have $4. I need to earn it. I need to come up with a plan. Goob went home and wrote out a list. Goob's Goals. Goal number one, save some money. Goal number two, buy a bug collecting kit. Goal number three, buy presents for Allie's birthday. Buy, uh, goal four, buy pizza with honey on top. Yeah. Goal five, go to a movie. Those are some good goals. All right. Just then, Jumper stopped by. Hey, what's that, Goob? Oh, I'm making a list of things I want to do, said Goob. Wow, can I be part of your game plan? Asked Jumper. Sure, said Goob. I have a great idea. Let's sell lemonade. 
It's really hot out and folks will want a cold drink. That afternoon, Goob and Jumper set up their lemonade stand. Sammy and Sophie were there, were there first to stop by. Lemonade, said Sammy. I'll buy a cup. Me too, said Sophie. This heat is oppressive. Goob and Jumper looked at each other. I have an idea. What, I, I have no idea what you just said, said Jumper. Hot, said Sophie. It's really hot. Next, Lily Skunk and Tagalong Alley stopped by. I'll buy a cup for Tagalong Alley and two cups for me, said Lily. And then Alley and I are going to go buy my house and color. Isn't that right, Alley? Oh, right, said Alley. After a few hours, Goob and Jumper had sold all their lemonade. They had made $20. Wow, we're rich, said Goob. Let's divide it up. Here's $10 for you and $10 for me. Home run, said Jumper. I know just what I'm going to spend my money on. And off he ran to Toodle's toy store. Jumper bought two candy bars, some bubble gum, a bag of popcorn, which he ate right away. Then he got himself a cheap yo-yo, which broke after three tries, and a small squirt gun, which he lost on the way home. Meanwhile, Goob went home and read over his list. He put some money in a jar for savings. Next, he went to Toodles and bought the bug collecting kit for $4. He spent $2 on a little mirror for Tagalong Alley's birthday present. On his way home, he stopped at Penny's place and bought himself a slice of honey pizza for $1. He still had $2 left to go to the movie. As Goob was walking along, Jumper caught up to him. Hey, where are you headed, Goob? He asked. To the movies, said Goob. Oh, I wish I could go, said Jumper with a sigh, but I've spent all my money. On what? Asked Goob. Oh, lots of stuff, said Jumper. My money's just kind of disappeared. You should have planned ahead, said Goob. I was able to get everything on my list. Jumper's ears and whiskers drooped. Hmm. I guess I dropped the ball, he said. Don't let it bug you, said Goob. Now you know what to do next time. Ah, you're smart, said Jumper. Have fun at the movies. You can have fun too, said Goob. I have two dollars left. It's enough for both of us to go to the dollar movie. The giant spider eats the blob is showing. Come on, let's go. There we go. All right, I like that one. I like planning ahead and having goals. Do you guys have any goals, things that you want to do? Let me know. I want to hear all your big goals. What do you want to be when you grow up? What do you want to do when we're allowed to go out and play with our friends again? I want to hear all about it in the comments below. All right? Should we sing one more song and then our goodbye song? What do you think, Soph? Mm -hmm. Or just right to our goodbye song? Right to our goodbye song. All right, Sophie's called it. We're going right to our goodbye song. You guys ready to sing? All right, here we go. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Because your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Oh, the more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. With Kendall and Sophie and Nikki and Eric, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Oh, there you go, guys. Thank you so much for coming to the Reading Nook. I hope to see everyone again tomorrow. You guys have the most amazing day. And from my family to yours, we love you and have the best day ever. Bye.